Let's walk through that example that you should have done on your own. Many news organizations conduct polls asking adults in the U.S. if they approve of the job the president is doing. How did Obama's approval rating change from August 2009 to September 2010? According to a 2010 CNN poll of 1,024 randomly selected U.S. adults, 50% approved of Obama's performance. An August 2009 CNN poll of 1,010 randomly selected U.S. adults showed that 53% approved of Obama's job performance. Use the results of this poll to construct and interpret a 90% confidence interval for the change in Obama's approval rating among all U.S. adults. So, first thing we have to do, state our proportions, our parameters, and what we're trying to estimate. So, we're estimating P2010 minus P2009 at our 90% confidence level, where P2010 is the true proportion of all U.S. adults who approved of Obama's job performance in September 2010. And similarly, P sub 2009 is the true proportion of U.S. adults who approved of President Obama's job performance in August of 2009. After we have stated, we need to come up with our plan. So we've got a two sample Z interval for the difference of these two as long as our conditions are satisfied. The data came from two separate random samples. To check normal, um, we've got uh, 0.5, which was our p hat for 2010, and then we've got 0.53, which is our p hat for 2009, um, times that by their um, sample sizes, respectively. All of those are greater than 10, so you're good to go there. These samples were taken independently, so we do have to say that, and that also there were at least 10,240 adults in the U.S. in 2010 and at least 10,100 adults in the U.S. in 2009. You have to verify the 10% condition for both samples. Please, please, please remember that. Let's go ahead and do our calculations, right? You have to write out your formulas, but I want you to use your calculator to verify that. So let's just look and see what that would be. So I'm going to put this up here. So I'm going to go to, it's bright. There we go. Stat, tests, and then option B is the true proportion Z interval. Remember, you have to enter in X and N. So ours were 5, 12, and 10, 24. And then the other one was 5, 35, and 10, 10. 90% confidence interval. And look, my math holds up right here. P hat for sub 1, P hat sub 2. After you come to your conclusion with your math, we write our conclusion statement. We are 90% confident that the interval from negative 0.066 to 0 0.006 captures the true change in proportion. You can also say the true difference in proportion of U.S. adults who approve of Obama's job performance in August 09 to September 2010. Now, is there evidence that it has changed? No, not really. It's plausible that there hasn't been any change because zero is in this interval, right? There's negatives and positives and zeros in between there. So there's no convincing evidence that this approval rating has in fact changed between August 2009 and September 2010. In our next video, we're going to be talking about how you um, do a significance test for difference in proportions.